What's up fam? In this video, we're looking at the imposters. Obviously, we couldn't get around it. We had to cover it once. Um, it is one of the most talked about play to earn games out there right now, made by Elliot Trades. Elliot Trades is very well known. Most people know him from Twitter, from, uh, I was gonna say Instagram, no, from YouTube. Most people know him from Twitter and from YouTube. He's got his own project, which is called Super Farm, which is pretty well known. As you can see, it dropped massively after one of the announcements of the imposters yesterday, but there's been quite a lot of uh, volume on here. So, you know, it's got a market cap of 400 million. Fuck, the guy is very young. He's doing pretty well. He's very successful. Works together a lot with Alex Becker. So he's definitely one of the guys that a lot of people are following. But as you can tell, shoop, there was a massive drop here yesterday on uh, it's the, the token from Super Farm and also the Genesis series, which is his NFT release, Super Farm Genesis series, dropped a lot as well. This is the floor price, so you got to look at it a little bit different, but um, there were a couple of announcements on the imposters before, right? One of them was you're going to need Super Farm tokens to uh, buy the imposters NFTs. And so far, there's been a lot of hype around it. Everybody wants to get it. Not even necessarily because they like the game or whatever, because there was no information out there yet whatsoever, but just simply because it was promoted as a triple A game, so a high quality, high budget made uh, game. But of course, as well, because it was made by Elliot Trades, so there was a lot of hype around it simply because of the fact that it was by him. People were stacking up on Super Farm a little bit already over the last couple of days and weeks from the moment that the announcement came, somewhere probably here. I'm not 100% sure what the date was, but yeah yeah that makes sense roughly 10 days ago that that makes sense roughly here people started you know loading up on it dropped a little bit again people started loading up on it again a couple of days back and then yesterday of course it dropped why did it drop because the announcement came out that well first of all you're gonna need 5555 tokens to mint a uh, imposter which is the white list price so that means at the current rate $5,555 to mint one fucking imposter. That's like a massive cash grab. You just, you can't justify making people pay that amount of money for one of the NFTs, especially not because you get wide listed by holding one of his own fucking NFTs. What you do is you search for the name. You don't do Jazz, you don't do the Falcom, all the other ones, they are eligible. So you hold one of the NFTs, they do a snapshot soon, and then you get the wide list, right? So. Right now, this price dropped massively too. Um, I think I should be here somewhere. Where am I? I'm gonna sell it as well. Oh, this is me. I've been undercut. I was the floor before, and now I'm not the floor anymore. People are undercutting me. Floor was sitting at uh, 2.5, roughly 2.4 something. And then yesterday, the announcement came and it dropped, and people were just selling it for like 1. Point something, right? Don't look at the jazz. Here, Hype Lord 1.8. This is all today where you go back a little bit more. Yesterday, people were just salty because of the announcement and then people just wanted to get rid of it. I've seen sales of like 1.3, 1.3, 1.4. So uh, here's 1.5, we have 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.25. 1.25. People would just started to drop it straight away as soon as the announcement came. Because it's fucking bullshit, right? Let's be real. People bought the NFTs here for like, six thousand dollars some people have paid even more the floor was close to two and a half so let's say seven thousand dollars is what people paid for then they already stacked up on super farm because they knew that that's what they're gonna have to pay for so they were already loading up on his project and then he comes up with an announcement that you're gonna have to pay five and a half thousand dollars to get one of the nfts which is a wide list right the public sale is going to be a dutch auction starting at three ethereum you tell me how you can justify paying so much money for like an NFT that is a mint, right? There's been projects out there lately that like Hype Bears, if we go back to this one, Hype Bears, which eventually didn't do much, uh, was one of them. I think the mint was 0 0.4, right? And you'll be like, fuck, the mint price. Was that this one, by the way? Maybe it wasn't this one. Uh, but it could have been. Well, if that's the case, then <laughs> it dropped massively. There was another one, I think, uh, Invisible Friends, which is coming up, right? That one is gonna be 0 0.4. There's multiple ones, lately 0 0.4 why is well they i think this one it was this one but all right that's not important um people can ask those amount of monies those numbers because it's the market allows it to people are buying it anyway right but then you have people that here whitelist sale price is this amount of in your own tokens right they need to hold your nft and then you get them to pay this much money <laughs> that's just insane whitelist sale is going to be on the 7th of march so they, they did make a couple of changes right so hold up um this is what's what this is what it was right this is the amount of tokens that you needed in super 
and then you would have the widely sale on the 7th of March and then 24 hours the time to buy or to mint and then after that uh, there was going to be a Dutch auction starting at 3 Ethereum which is fucking ridiculous um, and then it was going to go down gradually with I don't know how much it went down with 0.2 I believe but I'm not 100% sure. I think that's mentioned somewhere here too. Yeah, decreased by 0.2 every 15 minutes. So the faster people want to buy, of course, the, you know, the, if the FOMO is real, people will start paying more and then they will pay three Ethereum for it. What they've changed up now is this. They're gonna do the public mint first. So the, the sale starting at three Ethereum, they're gonna do the whole public, the, uh, however much there's available for public. And then after that, they will do the whitelist and then they're gonna decide the price of the whitelist depending on the Dutch auction, meaning, Whitelisted people will pay 80% of the lowest price paid for on the Dutch auction. So example, it starts at 3 Ethereum and it goes down to 2 Ethereum. It sells out at 2 Ethereum. Then the whitelist pays 80% of 2 Ethereum for that, which is probably going to be cheaper than this. But, you know, might not even be cheaper. If it sells out straight away for 3 Ethereum, then you're going to have to pay 80% of 3 Ethereum. So a little bit of a risk there whether it's going to be cheaper, yes or no. Anything else we need to know in here? Can I buy an Ethereum? No, it's only going to be his own token, obviously, which is good for him. Can you mint during the whitelist period if you're not with the whitelist? No, of course. Um, done through Dutch auction, start at three. What the fuck? Why is it starting? Well, this is a good question. The imposters team recognizes that this mint price is higher than other NFTs. However, the imposters project is nothing like most NFTs. Imposters is not merely a profile picture project, but a complex gaming metaverse built in Unreal Engine. The game has been in production since early 2020 and the team is composed of over 40 world-class engineers and builders with prior experience working at Epic Games, Roblox, Call of Duty, Pixar and more AA, AAA games. This is just bullshit. This is his like sales pitch. I like Elliot Trades. I watch his videos. I subscribe to his channel. Like I learn from things. Uh, I, sometimes you don't always learn something from it, but you know, I subscribe to Elliot Trades. I subscribe to Alex Becker. Obviously those guys have a massive following. You learn from them, sure. But, you know, this is like a sales pitch. He tries to justify it, which you can't. The game is already in close testing. And by holding an imposter Genesis, Genesis NFT, you will gain access to a variety of events exclusive to holders and early access to the beta. Again, the beauty of a Dutch auction is that the market will ultimately decide the main price, which is not true. The Genesis season pass is designed to hold a unique place in the economy with unrivaled events throughout the season. This is kind of true, kind of not true that the market decides um, because people will just FOMO and they'll pay that money. Doesn't necessarily mean it's worth that money. There's massive FOMO at the start. They pay three Ethereum. People get scared, la, 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 and then eventually all that dies out a little bit and then go on open sea and then eventually nobody wants to buy them anymore for three. That's when the market starts deciding when nobody wants to buy it anymore above the three. That, so there's no profit. Then people will start selling at a loss and then, you know, floor price could go down could not be the case they could like start listing it after the sale straight away for six ethereum as well that's possible too you know but um your profit just gets minimized a little bit unless you want to hold it for long term but i wouldn't really pay three ethereum for hold to hold like a, a gaming project like this i think my money would be better spent somewhere else how does the Dutch auction work? So you start high, you go low. Will it um, public sale? Is there a maximum? Maximum is two imposters with the Dutch auction. So the public maximum mint limit per wallet. Uh, what? You can mint a maximum of two NFTs per transaction. So you can do more at transactions. So you could start high, wait until the price drops a little bit and then mint another one. So your average buying price is lower. Minimum of five imposters per wallet. So you can do two then buy two again and then buy another one if you would want to it's going to be erc 712 a the a is a new form of minting it just means that there's a lower floor price uh, so lower gas fee lower gas fee transactions also when you mint more so when doing more nfts at once then still gas fee will be lower when review will take 20 oh that's not that's that's quick review will be 24 hours after sellout uh, anybody can participate in the Dutch auction. Yes, you can mint from a hardware wallet, utility, the Genesis characters, and, uh, and that is its holders to participate in all events within the Genesis season. Sure. Free to play. Yes. How to get whitelist is guaranteed whitelist was mentioned in the early trades NFT holders and super fun Genesis NFT holders, excluding the Falcon and the Jazz. And I believe that's not what is mentioned here. But when you hold a Neo Tokyo, you get a whitelist as well. 
Super token used within the game. Super is the governance token for the Apostles Metaverse. All fees generated by the game marketplace are controlled by the Super DAO Treasury. Super is not earned or emitted within the game. What will the project do with a super raise? The project intends, this is an important question, uh, intends to hold and stake the super generated from the Apostles Mint by selling half of the items in Ethereum. It allows the project to pay for taxes and operations without being forced to sell the super tokens. In the unlikely event that any super is needed for project operations, a transparency report will be issued. How much money is it gonna raise? How many are there of these things? Do we know? Uh, I haven't actually looked at it. Because you can imagine how much money he's going to raise roughly when this mint is going to go live. How much are there? What is imposters? It's going to be a metaverses are boring without games. Yeah, yeah, la -de -la -de -la. Play and earn community owned social metaverse. Or basic. This is the video, by the way. I don't know if you've seen the video yet. It was released yesterday on Twitter. Um, again, there was so much hype around it. People were excited. Oh my God, Elliot trades the imposters, la la la. And then they came up with this video and it, you know, it looks funny, it's cool, it's fine, but it's not special or anything. There's nothing special about it, right? There's a million other projects that have like similar graphics as to this one. And there's other projects that are like AAA games as well that are gonna be out there that will eventually not cost as much money. So again, he can't justify this price. I know I'm having a massive go here at him with the price, but I just think, you know, it's, He's got a name for himself. He's already got so much money. You could have sold this for one Ethereum and still be like, oh my God, it's expensive. You could have sold this for 0 0.5 and that probably would have been like, all right, cool, he's well known. He's got a big following. It's a good project. Um, it has like good graphics to it and whatever 0 0.5 makes sense. A lot of money, but makes sense. Three Ethereum, that just doesn't make sense whatsoever. Roadmap, there's no roadmap really. He thinks he's funny here. Phase one, week two, sus event. Week four, kind of sus event, very sus event, probably something sus. Yeah, sure, it's funny, but it does mean it means that there's no roadmap. This is no roadmap. This is nothing, right? Again, I like Elliot Trades. I like everything he talks about, and I think it's a, he represents himself as a cool dude. So I'm just having a go here at him, but you know, there's just not too much <laughs> positive information out there right now. Phase two, open beta launch, beta pass, map maker. Phase three, land goes live. Definitely gonna be another land sale there. Yeah, you're gonna need super tokens to buy the land. Yeah, you're gonna need the imposter NFT to get it and la 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 la. And then this is gonna go for a lot of money, which he then raises up a lot of money with again as well. Game, note maker. Then the team, Elliot Trades, uh, Marty Kaplan and Tim Canley have worked on, sure, they have worked on a lot of awesome things. Pixar is obviously massive, but how to play is gonna be a game of survival. Also, this is very simple. Player have the role of either innocent or imposter in a murder mystery themed gameplay. As an innocent, your goal is to find a killer and vote all the imposters to complete all the tests before. The imposters try to kill you and everyone else. They only have one goal, kill them all. Um, that's kind of everything. That's all the information there is right now. There's nothing too much yet on the Twitter either. They have 35 and a half thousand followers. Um, this is one of the pictures, imposters are coming in. That's about it. Elliot Trades does post a little bit about it himself as well. Um, but yeah, again, that's, I can't say too much. <laughs> well, that's not him. How do you spell his name? Elliot Trace, there we go. Um, he's got obviously a lot more followers. So this this is the reason why he can ask this amount of money and people, it's gonna sell out. And you know, to be honest, I've got a wide list for it because I got one of the super farms. I'm about to assemble my um, Neo Tokyo as well. I got like the identity, so I'm gonna assemble it. And then I'll have an uh, Genesis and a, uh, if it does, doesn't get sold by the way, because I did list it, and a citizen. If I get the white list, yeah, I'll probably end up minting it, right? So I'm involved, I'm one of the victims of the hype around it myself as well. But I wouldn't do it for the quick flip, so I would patiently wait, because I've got the white list, public sale is gonna go first, you'll see how much money people will actually, or how much money, how much they're gonna list it for. So you see how much they list it for, and then you base your decision of that. If they don't list it a very decent amount higher, then I'm not gonna sell it, you know. With stuff like this, because there's so much hype around it, you can expect them to list it for, I don't know, five, six Ethereum on market, right? If that's the case, yeah, it could be worth the flip. If that's not the case, well, then I'm just gonna skip it. So this is the trailer. Um, well, other than that, I've been dropping a long video. I'll be dropping a long video tomorrow. So that should be today. He's probably gonna drop that today. Walking through exactly what Impostors is, what the Genesis Season Pass is, and opening a Twitter space for all to comment. 
I am 100% confident we can together find the best path forward for a project I've spent years of my life on. He's probably going to be, you know, he's definitely going to do well with it and he's going to take care of it and he's definitely going to be, um, try his best to make it a good game. But again, it's just not worth the money and because of the price of it, that's the only thing that you kind of focus on, right? Twitter does, or the Discord doesn't really have anything else apart from, from this. Um, sneak peeks has nothing yet. Announcement has nothing yet. There's a bit of a chat going on here. I don't know if he's in here himself or there's other people in here, but there's nothing too much going on yet. Obviously, it's just starting out, so we need more information. For now, the only information that we really have is the price of it, which is insane. We've got to wait 18 days and five hours before the mint is, so we'll see the development along the line, whether there's going to be more to it, whether we're going to be like, you know, have a couple of these click moments. Ah, okay, that's why it's so expensive. Ah, okay, well, that makes sense. But there's other other projects out there that aren't as expensive as this one and still follow under the category of triple A projects, right? We reviewed a bunch of them. Um, so one of them, for example, Champions Ascension is coming up soon. Um, that one that we, we talked about, uh, it's dropping a little bit more. We talked about a lot as well. It's backed by Jam City, which is a gaming studio itself already focused on mobile games um, of different projects that were massive, right? Harry Potter was one of them. So they're not going to be this expensive either. And there's, there's a lot more other projects as well. So, all right, cool. I know I'm rattling on. It's probably me just talking about the price a little bit too much here, but we're going to update on this project a little bit more often, see the development, see how it goes, and then see whether we can justify minting it for that price, yes or no. And then, of course, I'm very curious to see whether eventually we're going to um, see, you know, volume on secondary market and we can actually flip it for quite a lot. That's all I kind of have on this project for you guys right now. Just a quick little update. Please let me know in the comments down below whether you think that he can justify paying this much money or you can justify paying this much money for one of his NFTs or that it kind of just sounds like a bit of a cash grab to you. Maybe it's a mix of a cash grab and of, you know, actually coming up with a legit game and he's just knowing that he can make that much money out of it because he's got a good name. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching though. If you could just hit the subscribe button and bell notifications to get updated on all the next videos. I would appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video.